Oh, Luke is hiding. There's Bella. Hey, Bella. Oh, there's Grace and Bucky. The horses I just put in here for exercise don't know they're here. They haven't found you. This is a five acre um, paradise pasture. So we can, I can put horses in and for a few minutes anyways, they might not know uh, where the other horses are until they do the search down the, the trails that the horses cut or the trails that we cut. So, so this is up back side of the northeast corner. The goats, of course, um, have free range in here. And my husband, John Vito, is somewhere on the quad in this, this pasture. I think he's with the other two horses that are staying with us for a little while. They've been here about six months and I'm getting out of breath. So they're also rescue horses owned by a gal. There's one of my hay drop areas that they haven't found yet this morning. Kind of give an overview. There. There's just some tilly. You can see how the horses cut their trails through and they even get up to the top. Also, So the corner is here. Hmm. And we'll go down to the main flat place. It's the neighbors over there. And we just had Decent rains, and then a week prior, decent rains. So, I'm hoping all the grasses and weeds come up. This whole area fills up really nicely. Um, up and starting in Jan you know, December, January through March, April, and then they have a lot of natural pasture to eat, and they're acclimated to it, and it's not excessive. So. There's only certain areas it seems to grow here and my hope is that the undisturbed manure which I've been allowing to collect undisturbed holds some of the reseed and so we'll see how that goes this this year. This is their first year. They were moved into here January of uh, 2015 so it's almost a year. And they definitely have manure area collect areas. Seems to be a lot on that fence line. So I'm real curious to see how the vegetation grows thanks to that extra fertilizer and maybe some seed spreading from the from the eating and the munching of Oh there's her horses. So there's the jelly bean and and Lindsay's horse. The goats found it. There's another hay drop area up there. It's one that they know. Um, my horses know to go to that section, and then uh, we use the quad in the morning to spread things around. And they've already looks like they've eaten the hay from this side already. So I have one. I guess I haven't put. I have a Himalayan salt roll block. I don't know, John Vito probably put it somewhere in one of the trees. There's an old salt block down there. So, there is 
There's another plateau area where we put some hay. And then as far as water goes, we spread it out. So I've got a bucket over there. And then I have another one by this poor little Christmas tree that we're trying to rehab. But you can see how the other horses come in and they've cut their own trails in here to some degree. And you can see old degraded, naturally composting back into the earth uh, manure and then fresher manure along these trails. There's one of the smaller buckets to make sure that a little more went for the goats too. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now, okay, here comes Bucky. So he pretty soon is probably gonna recognize that the other two horses are in here. He's my registered paint. And then Grace is a rescue horse. <laughs> They're wondering what John Vito's doing. What are you doing over there? The round pen's down there. I don't know if it. The glare, I can't see what I'm photographing very well. But, anyways, there's a round 60 foot diameter round pen. And then the other corrals are beyond this pasture. There's 100 by 40, 60, 100 by 60. And that's where Jill's horses are staying. Most of the time, I've been trying to integrate them more with this herd for more exercise. We're building another new chack shed over there. Okay, so there's the corner there. And the corner over here, so you can kind of see the side of it. All right. And that's a little look-see at this pasture where free movement and 24-7 free feed as much as they want available. The orchard and the taff. And sometimes Timothy, but mostly orchard. And then uh, they do feed some alfalfa for Bucky to keep weight on him. But with the movement, they keep keep well um, clear. Here comes Grace to go see John Beto. And she may have noticed the other horses. Yeah. Bucky has two. Everybody's gonna go see what's up. Meet and greet and establish their dominance. And Bucky's probably like, what are those other horses eating my food for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw them. There they go. Now Grace has decided she's going to boss uh, Jelly Bean around because she really likes that old gelding. Bella, you got to catch up, Bella. Here's some exercise for you. <laughs> there they go. Fun for you guys. A little midday exercise where you're usually poking around this time of day. Dirty Bucky. He grows his winter coat in, he turns really red. He's a Sabino strawberry blonde, but he he looks red. There you go. There's the goats, they're gonna run. Everybody. <laughs> this 
This is how horses get figured out. Who's in charge? Who's going to be in charge today? That was fun.